Greetings, my friends. This is Gilles Mansur. I thought I'd come and wish you a good Sunday today. For it is very important to, to focalize, to, to know that we have a choice. It's a time of choice. And, and it's, the, the outside world is going to be shaken up. So it's important to rely on the plans, to choose the, the plans of the light, the divine plan that's revealed from within, from our intuition, from our deep feeling of wellness, rather than the whole matrix reality that will continue to be shaken up because 99% of humanity delight themselves in fear and catastrophes, in dark things, and they love adrenaline of the of the agitation and the chaos and so so it's like they need to be waken up and so it's going to be more push that are going to be coming but as we remember we call on we invoke we know we are the source creator we have the source creator within ourselves we are surrounded with guides and angels and divine beings that are always looking after us as we know that their presence become more solidified as we remember the source we invoke the source we remember the source we become protected through the process for it's always about self-interest, you know, what, what brings us joy, what brings us pleasure, what brings us this or that. So, but our highest pleasure, our highest joy, our highest fulfillment can be included within the greatest good of all. I think it, 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 we have to find a make it to make it so to know that we, we, as long as we follow our dream and we, we do no harm, we are at the right place in the right time and ready to receive that which we are asking for. For the good and bad, the greatest good is all about self-appreciation. Do not let other people tell you what is the greatest good. For some people will tell you the greatest good is to have a chips in your head controlled by a central computer that will tell you what to like, what to think, what to say, uh, or, or to get like 26 vaccines to protect yourself or so, or, uh, Again, some hypothetical disease or whatever, for that is their choice. I'm not criticizing those kind of choices, but it is not mine. And so... So I'm defining for myself what is the highest good for my for me and what I see is the greatest good for everybody. For in truth, we are all one. So what is good for one is good for all. What hurts one is hurting all. That's why the Christ said, uh, if you hurt the smallest one, you are hurting me in the process because he knew of this unity consciousness. So, so it's very much about personal responsibility uh, and feeling good and empowered in the same time. Uh, to assume the leaderships of our kingdom, our inner kingdom, to be the leader of ourselves and, and for that we then need to make choices and more choices for leaderships is about making choices and assuming the responsibility of our choices so when we don't when we make a choices if it doesn't feel right then we can correct it of course we're not perfect sometimes we make mistakes so it's okay we have to accept that but uh, but but we we, we we given such a great deal of freedom on this planet for, for it is a planet of limitation so it's kind of strange to say that we are given huge amount of freedom but our free will allows us to make immoral choice allows us to make the wrong choice and, and God will allow that so it's like a great deal of free will because on the higher planes the, the law will censure immediately any lower choices so so we have so it is very important important to I will always recommend to include more all what, what we call, what you call with a sense of goodness, not to impose your morality on anybody else, but, but to choose the, the highest the highest choice, the, the higher choice. Sometimes you can take, make the middle choice, but, but the lower choice, the immoral choice is not really recommended. Although sometimes people are choosing something very immoral because they are deprived of higher consciousness. They do, they do not see the cause and the effect. And, and so... And, and it gets short-term gain, you know, from that. And it's like uh, somebody that's like robbing somebody else or whatever. They, they get a short-term gain. But there is no long-term prospect with, with, with immoral choices. Absolutely not. Huh? It's like uh, th there is no... Uh, only God, as an omniscient consciousness, can utilize good and evil, dark and light, for the greatest good of all, through the, because he knows all will learn through the action. But as an individual, we can never try to use something, some evil action to believe that it will bring some good. We'll fall into it. So I'm just expressing my just thoughts and they're just, uh, they're just direction. <laughs> feel. But I think it's, it's difficult to not have a consensus. Of, uh, we need to find consensus to, to federate the consciousness around common sense, as Descartes used to say, we have to find a common sense into all things. So, um, so, so although moral cho immoral choice could present short-term advantages, it cannot lead to anything good at the end. So always try to be moral, to be respectful, to be honest. You, 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 there's so much more to gain. For a lot of beings that are in, in polarized negatively, we'll, we'll take a lot of more immoral decisions, believe it, because they're getting a lot of short-term gain, but they do not realize, like Dante, in the Divine Comedy, explains what we do in time, we'll harvest in eternity. For well, it's like... Uh, 
it's limited to his uh, his um, medieval consciousness of a Christian, huh? but 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 still the symbolism is there. Like what we do in time, we 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 don't know, but we will have those who create a lot of suffering on this planet for short term gain or pleasure will, will create a reality in this afterlife. Those who can understand that uh, that could be quite unpleasant <laughs> I have to admit so it's like well so we, we want to have compassion we don't want to add to them but it's no need to to fight against that we just want to just uh, bring light into things uh, sometimes you prevent problems from happening you send angels ahead to to, to balance things out so, so there's all kinds of ways to um to uh, to assist in in many ways to follow your own sense of self and um, for for you can nobody can ascend without the sense of right and wrong the moral consciousness for for it's like um, eventually we'll move into the tree of life the one unity consciousness when there is only love right now here on the planet we are here to learn duality and duality to become creator to understand what is the good what uh, what uh, what is good for yourself and collectively and what is not for yourself what creates joy and what creates suffering to understand to have the to, we cannot become creator if we do not have a sense of right and wrong so um for we can ascend as neg negative polarized being can ascend within their own hierarchy uh, within the you can uh, human beings can become a demon uh, inferior demon that can become a superior demon that can become a leading demon so there is all kind but, but at the end they remain demons and they're not uh, the and uh, until God decide to free them from their, from their own making, uh, the, the, there is very little hope for those beings. Um, so, so it's like the dark. Uh, the dark doesn't really. Um, is is a lot of people are still like being drawn to that. I see that uh, in all uh, the, what they're interested in. So, so eventually they they will let go of that, uh, so that we can start moving into something else. For in this reality, this dualistic reality of the third dimension that we live in fourth dimension, sort of fourth dimension. Essentially, it's about give and take. Huh? It's about giving and receiving the push and pull. So we want to we want to we want to be centered and 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 serene. Yet we, we, we when we engage in, in society, it is all about that. Find a balance point where where, where it is balanced. Because we can learn as much from peace and harmony to move things, peace and harmony, and then through chaos and conflict. We learn a lot through chaos and conflict, but. Um, but now we want to we want to plan we want to move into through great we want to continue learning through grace and harmony for the, so we believe to the plan of god that is the inner self the, the fulfillment the freedom the, the abundance the security that is unfolding little by little as we we cultivate it or the plan of the cabal the, the matrix plan for the plan of the creator is all about understanding the energies spiritual mental emotional um, physical uh, there's all the energies that are, that are very complex a very complex world we are complex beings we are made of many we are the, the parents of all our senses for instance but we've given art to discover what is beautiful we've been given science to discover what is true and we've been given philosophy to discover what is what is good and I think uh, the, uh, the only political agenda that should be is about the quality of life of its citizenry. The Dolce Vita people should have a good life, the respect of the environment. But there is an awareness that, that is coming in in relationship to the ecology. A lot of the ecologists right now are complete nonsense. They're really going against the flow. Um, there is a because they're not even aware that the, the planet is a consciousness as we tune into the consciousness of the planet she will instruct us on what to do but we're going to move into the time of action it's very good to be aware of our emotion emotion are, are, they show us our alignment or disalignment with a positive emotion it means we're completely uh, we, we, we're experiencing a, a, a moment of alignment but then if we have negative emotion we, we're experiencing a negative um, a separation from our true self. Emotions and feelings are not the same thing. So it's good to be aware of our emotion, but never to react emotionally. Always keep your head uh, cool. But, uh, rather than be agitated in, in the response to situation, to be serene in relationship to it. Huh? It's like the choice between peace and chaos. Huh? It's like, But for that, we need to, to obtain this peace. is very essential. 
understand you have one life only one life and this is it this is your life within the eternal life and infinite life of god but you are very precious and it is your life it is you here and now and so do do it the best you can we always doing the best we can in truth because if we could have done better we even if we have regrets in relationship to the past we we did the best given the the emotional maturity and and the information we got at the time so now we learn from the experiences I know we are doing our best. Just follow your dream and do no harm. That's the key to to staying uh, to staying in alignment. But know you're good enough. You're perfect as you are. Just take your time. You're, you're just a child of God, and so as the children, God loves us. Children and will take care of them. We'll continue to educate them. Mostly those who are willing to to accept the guidance, to accept the, the to be submissive to the to, to the great um, to the Creator for. Um, for it is there is also what we consent and what we do not consent, what we authorize, what we do not authorize. Sometimes we 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 accept things we should not accept, and sometimes I'm, I'm I have I'm, I'm forbidding. I am not authorizing in be in behalf of all humanity certain things. But I know God hears me and He sees this position. And um, but what is what happens is authorized by the Creator. Otherwise, it would not happen. So it, it kind of feels strange to say that there is so many dark things that are authorized by the Creator because God knows that He has a plan to bring everything into the. It's very subtle. It is beyond what we can conceive as an individual. But trust that, and. Um, and, and it is also because there is so many people that are so that are still very much in low consciousness, the delight in fear, in darkness, in the in the zombies and the, the catastrophes and all that. They are like, oh, I love that. Yes, yes, yes. Send me that. Give me that more, more, more. I want I, I want all my fears to be expressed and then they realize and they say, I, I want to accept that I'm a victim and suffering and all that. So so it's very much about shifting that um, slowly but surely to move back into the the paradise ascent plan that is about joy and security and feeling good and uh, uh, and that is the reason why it's continued this dark program keeps going on is because they still have a huge audience and so it's gonna shake up and the world's gonna shake up because because there is a there is a need to push towards the enlightenment and for and when this happened you want to be centered you want to trust your inner self you want to trust your inner guidance you want to trust your angels you want to trust your guides you want to call on the archangels whenever necessary you want you want to be able to to be in consciousness so you know that you're going to navigate all that without being affected by all the shaken up that's going to be happening to trust the plan of god rather than the matrix external reality and um and to depend on your inner light, on your inner guidance and your source to be protected. For it's like I see a lot of the space fascinate humanity for a very long time because it's so magnificent. But humanity is not ready for space travel and exploration. They would just, they, they, it's just about exploitation. It is about war. It is about domination. Believing when you look at science fiction movie, humans are always on top of the, all the aliens. They're ruling and they're more intelligent and all that. When actually we're we are really a low species that is destined to become a great species, a, a star nation. So, so it's like, um, so they're not really ready for that yet, but it will come very soon. It's going to, uh, personally, um, when people are ready, we, we actually, we are creator. As creator, we have the right to explore the universe. We don't need machines or anything like that. Um, I was taught a, a technique about in 1992 by my master guide, and I've been initiating people to space travel leave our bodies behind and for about a half an hour we're going into another planet another plane of reality and we always bring very meaningful information so i'm, I'm going to be probably opening a space agency that will be initiation center for those who are ready there is a certain protocol you need to accept and want to, to do that and to to be humble enough to to allow the process to let the ego uh, and let the ego here on the planet and just allow the consciousness to move to move, to move up and then another aspect of this uh, space agency will be about research and development of higher technologies for planetary, planetary industrial transportation, home technologies, personal technologies, and space technologies. For that, we're going to need to get the blueprints and the authorization from the cosmic consciousness to see what is wanted for the new age, and then, um, then to find collaboration, funding and collaboration to, for research and development of those technologies, mainly with, personally, I've been working with the Arcturians for many decades, but it's going to start manifest on the physical plane, you know, probably work with the Agarten, the people from the inner earth, maybe the wing makers, the humans from the future. Uh, 
as well as others, maybe the Andromedan, the Pleiadian, the Syrians, others maybe, um, and of course my guides, but, but for it's like we're going to need some funding for, for the research and development of the technology, but we don't need funding to, to connect to the mind of God. Huh? The God is not like, doesn't well, well, the price we pay is surrendering the ego and the lower, the fear and the lower consciousness. That's what we have. It's what we, 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 we it's, it's the payment to let go of all that is low to connect to, to a higher consciousness. But connecting to the mind of God is like, is a, it doesn't depend on, on funding or anything. But after that, we're going to need to, we'll see how it unfolds, we'll see how it develops. And, and the space agency will be also going to also plane, also dimension, also civilization. And to retrieve information, and we're going to start operating in collaboration, I think it may already happen secretly, but I think the na any nation that's interested in space travel should um, have some protocol of collaboration with the with the, federation, the Galactic Federation, because those beings are millions ahead of us. Uh, they are benevolent, benign, benign. They will do no harm, and they have millions of years ahead in evolution and technology and consciousness. So. That will be the first thing to do when, when we're going to want to develop a, a space program on the, from nations, within the nations. But it's not about competition. It's, it has to be about collaboration, for we are one planet, one human race. And, and that's all there is in reality. So we, although we have very, very different culture and approach and, uh, and perception of what, uh, what our reality and uh, our collective desire may be, we, should, we have to find a way to, to compromise so that we, th there is, uh, we can create this, this permanent peace on the earth. There was a philosopher named Emmanuel Kant who wrote this little book, the, the Philosophical Discourse on Perpetual Peace. I think it is a very small book. I recommend you probably find it on YouTube. I would recommend to, to send that to all the politicians in the world. <laughs> they should read that. It's from 18th century, but it's still very valid. It's the first philosopher that envisioned this possibility of peace. He said that politics has to kneel down between morality or the highest good of all. If, if politics try to, over, to be higher than then morality, then they lost, they, they, they become, a, they can become a tyranny. So, anyway, just so, so like I come on this Sunday to explain some thought. I hope this was interesting for you. Uh, you're welcome to, just, you can comment to let me know what you think about that. I thank you for liking and sharing. And I thank you for your donations. And we'll finish with a song. It's a song that talks about space travel, but it's more a romantic song. It's an old song. It's called Fly Me to the Moon. Fly me to the moon and let me play among the stars. Let me see what spring is like on Jupiter and Mars. In other words, hold my hand. In other words, baby, kiss me. Fill my heart with songs and let me sing forevermore. You are all I long for, all I worship and adore. In other words, please be true. In other words, I love you. Fill my heart with songs and let me sing forevermore. You are all I long for, all I worship and adore. In other words, please be true. In other words, I love you. I'm sorry, there's a lot of flies that are attacking my head. It's like there's, there's cows next, there's a lot of cows next door. It's very annoying. So I'm going to put my, my helmet against the attack of flies. It gets really hot, that's why I don't wear it. I'm going to pull some cards <laughs> and uh, probably go down to the south of France very soon. Like I've been invited by a friend. That's, uh, so the, the card of the day is the respect of the rule. It's, it's about understanding how things work and the rule. The small elephant will not try to lead the pack. Huh? It's like find, respect, respecting Earth's rules and divine rules and huh? to, be, to be in alignment, to find your proper place and then you can grow from there and, uh, and continue to, to cultivate this sense of... Um, uh, of understanding the, 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 the contemporary level of reality as well as the, what the divine is guiding us towards. I'm going to pull some more cards with the angels. The, the, observator, the observer of the day is serenity. 
It's, serenity is, is like peace. Huh? It's like a, to, it's the, the opposite of, of, of um, agitation. For, for it's, it's much better to be serene when, in action than agitated. And we get very agitated. It's a word that's very agitated. For within God, there is this extreme agitation. It's agitated within every atom of the universe. But this extreme serenity is always in the face, in, in, in this eternal space of incredible well-being he, he, he experienced all that is so 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 but for us it's like we really want to move from agitation to serenity then then to, to cultivate that sense of serenity the the highest wisdom is our destiny it is fulfilling it, it is about getting on with the program to, to see we came here for a reason and we have to fulfill our destiny we have to complete our mission we have to to to, to know that it will be complete if we are aligned and we follow our dream we follow our vision we follow uh, the our sense of self and huh? continue to cultivate this uh, this connection to your intuition to your heart to your your highest good letting go of, of, of old morality standards for for it's like a niche was in, be, beyond good and evil will show that uh, that, that um, there, there is there is all kinds of things that uh, it's like whatever applies to you may not be applying to somebody else just be responsible in relationship to what you do and what you what, what you accept to be good for something that could be good at one time can be bad at another time. Something that could be bad at one time could be good at another. So remain flexible in relationship to all that. Just don't compromise yourself in anything you you wouldn't want to be participating in in some sense. Because after that it gets sticky. People get trapped into things. Um, so, um, but there's always possibility of freedom. You can always call an angel, or an archangel, or. or, or ascended master to assist you if you feel like you that there is you trapped in a labyrinth or something just turn on to the light or the creator of course what we need to understand is success success we're already a success it is very we have to accept it that we already the success that we want to see and then it will come what we need to do is the reward we are the reward we, we are we're bringing in the reward the reward is coming and it is very much uh, it is due it is uh, what we sow we harvest and huh? regardless of what it is so and the outcome will be the solution every, every we are really going to move into a next level and uh, the solution for all the old, old program will be will be done it doesn't mean it will be done for the world it's going to be done on we have to complete that program on a personal level before we can implement larger solution for the world and for that it will be a collective everybody will be included within this resolution yet the, it will be the rule of wisdom those who have achieved higher wisdom will be called to 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 uh, to to anchor it to 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 share it so that uh, and even if there is opposition if there is enough light uh, the darkness will not be able to darkness cannot penetrate the 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 light if you, it's like if you're in a room you have a lot of light there is no darkness that can come it's only when the light turns off that the darkness come huh? so so it's like uh, but there was so much darkness in this reality that even when we bring in the light the darkness was so thick that you really couldn't and but now now it's it's getting a lot easier because our our own inner light our own collective inner light is really um, enlightening this whole matrix system program and then uh, we, we just need to tune in to the higher reality of the soul and the spirits and uh, little by little where consciousness is going to be uh, led into this higher flow this higher path this path of joy of ease and grace well thank you very much i wish you a wonderful day a wonderful sunday and i'll talk to you later